away. You can't come in. I just wanted to see if you were okay. She's here, isn't she? No. You might be frightened, but I'm not. with her. Gran had to go out. What if she poisons you? She helped me make this. She's trying to brainwash you. You shouldn't have said anything about me getting lost. She probably did it on purpose. No, she didn't. It was a mistake. Ben, she did this to keep you quiet. You're just jealous. <laughs> Has she put a spell on you? She's evil. Why won't you listen to me? Give it back. You're not really my friend. You don't scare me. I think it's time you went home, don't you? Ben, come with me. Ben is not going anywhere, are you, Ben? It's OK. We'll tell my mum everything. Oh, you're good at that, aren't you, Abby? Telling. Which, which? Where do you fly? Under the clouds you and under the You see what she's sky. doing? She's trying to turn you against me. You left him on his own. I know what you are. You're a horrible, wrinkly, old witch. And you are a scheming, vindictive, spiteful little madam. You come <laughs> here. You... All that we've said, Ben, how can I ever trust you? How can I? When the minute my back is turned, you go and turn against me. No, I didn't. It was Abby. One step forward, 15 back. Always has been. No matter how hard I try, how much effort I put in. Sometimes I wonder whether I shouldn't just throw myself under a train. Oh, I, I love your dad, Ben. I don't think you do. Yes, I do. I just want to make him happy. I keep trying to pull things together to make it work, but I... I can't do it all on my own. Brandy, Grant says that sometimes helps. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Mommy. What's going on? Why aren't you at school? What's happened? No, she just ran straight up here. Stella shouted at me. What do you mean she shouted at you? She's mean and cruel and horrible. Look, I'm but... sorry, Stace. Um, Preeti's going to have to finish you off. Yeah. It's a bad time. Um, it's a bit of a family crisis. Sorry, if you'd like to see Preeti, come on down. Um, if you just want to take a seat, I'll be with you in a sec. Uh, don't worry, I'll finish the rest myself. You better have a good excuse. I think there's been some sort of misunderstanding. She is ten years old. I don't expect her to come running to me, crying and terrified because she's had an argument with a grown-up. <laughs> she is not. Yes, yeah, all right, Abby. I'm doing. I did it. get a little bit cross. I admit. Abby said you shouted at her and called her names. You should be ashamed of yourself. Ben is not very well. Abby really shouldn't have been here. Ben, darling, why don't you tell me what happened? Tell her, Ben. Tell my mum what she said. I, well, I wasn't going to say. Right, let him speak. Abby shouldn't have come in. I told her not to. I promised Stella I'd rest. I think this might throw a little light on the situation. Abby left her coat. I found this in her pocket. It's obvious what's happened. My card. Oh. What are you trying to say? What, that Abby did this? I didn't. The kids must have had an argument. You know, things get out of hand and that's where I came in. I didn't do it. Ben. Obviously, obviously, I don't know the full story. It's just, you know, he's put a lot of time and effort into it. You know, it's a very difficult time for Ben, what with his mum being dead. Yeah, well, if Abby did do this, then I can assure you she will be punished. I didn't do it. Well, Ben didn't, and I certainly didn't. Well, like you said, you know, kids. Yeah. <gasps> I'm sorry to have bothered you. But, Mum... Out. <laughs>